Hello. Um, I just wanted to come on and just say uh, something quick. Um, uh, Daniel Fleetwood, who was a lifelong Star Wars fan, uh, died uh, today, um, November 10th. Um, I'm j I just now heard about it. Um, this video may be, uh, <clears throat> it may be uploaded the, you know, the following day, November 11th, but as of now on November 10th, I'm finding this out, uh, for the first time, because I didn't know about Daniel, because I really had no interest in looking up anything of Star Wars, really, because of the new films. I just wanted it to be, you know, a surprise. Um, that way I can accept every film in the future of Star Wars appropriately, as opposed to getting my hopes up and then being disappointed. Um, I say that because I think that if I looked up, just typed in Star Wars on Google or whatever, I would have known about the story, and I wish I did, I wish I could have tweeted about it, or gone on Facebook and posted something, or, you know, whatever, I kind of wish I had, uh, done that, but, you know, I didn't, but a lot of people knew about it and tweeted about Daniel, because his last wish was just to see Star Wars Episode Seven, because he has a rare type of cancer. I and I just looked this up, but I, I can't remember it. But it, and it, he just wanted to see Star Wars Episode Seven before he died, because he. I watched a video where he said he didn't think he had long to live and he just wanted to see Star Wars before he died. And he spent his last days with his wife and family and he just loved Star Wars and really wanted to uh, see the n next film. Um, you know, before he went, and many people heard about the story, and it was reported on the local news where he lived, and from there, just, you know, people went on Twitter and Facebook and this and that, wherever, and they just posted this uh, Force for Daniel, they wanted him to see the movie. And, you know, in the this world today, you know, there's a lot of trolls and people on social media, and there's a lot of terrible things that happen in the world, but, you know, in this instance, uh, people uh, banded together just to uh, make s somebody who loved... Uh, uh, series, a franchise, actually, you know, love the Star Wars films, uh, books, games, um, the, uh, news clip I saw, uh, it showed him with his wife, and, um, you know, he was playing a Star Wars video game, and he, you know, he was saying how he, he's always loved Star Wars, and it's been a huge part of his life, and, you know, and I can relate to that, because I love Star Wars, too, and I even have a Star Wars shirt on, and I have a lot of Star Wars memorabilia, and I'm like, you know, I feel, for this, I felt for this guy, and even though I just found out about it today, it's still sad, but, you know, with this sadness, I'm like, you know, there is a little bit of happiness in the sense that he got to 
fulfill his wish was fulfilled. He got to see Star Wars uh, before anyone else. It was an un, uh, un like an, a rough cut or something that you know will be put together before the film. You know, it'll be finished up before everyone gets to see it next month, but. It's moments like this that while people say they lose faith in humanity, it's a story that I think humanity was restored a little bit to those that seem to lose faith because of how terrible things get in the world. And it often looks bleak and sometimes maybe even hopeless. Um... But, you know, moments like this just show how people can band together and just make something happen so one person can have a moment of joy in their last days. And, you know, he was surrounded by his family. And it's just a... It's, just, it's one of those stories that's both great and sad. Sad because he passed away. But it's also happy because he got his wish. And, and Mark Hamill, uh, you know, Luke Skywalker, he even ad advocated uh, for Daniel to see the film before he passed and everyone's efforts uh, paid off and and I salute everybody that did that um, you know that's great that people were able to make something happen so a man that most of the world never knew um, they just wanted to have this man have uh, at least one last moment of joy so that, you know, he could rest peacefully knowing he got to see Star Wars. And um, I know some people don't like Star Wars. Some people kind of like on the news are like, oh, I'm tired of hearing about Star Wars and merchandising. And, and, you know, in a way, I am too because of some of the stuff of marketing that's going on that's kind of a little bit too much in your face. But, you know, a moment like this is great because a guy got to see a film before he passed and... It was his last wish, and, you know, I I thank everybody, if they were in a certain circumstance, you know, we, we would want our last wish to come true as well, um, whatever that would be, either to see a film like this, like Star Wars, or anything, you know, maybe go to a different country. Or uh, see a football game, or whatever it is, people would have that you know that one wish, and um, you know, people spoke, studio heard, and Daniel Fleetwood got to see Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Unleashed before everyone else did, and. Yeah, that's that is that is something that's that is great, and um, so anybody that has thought that you know humanity has gone downhill again, I think humanity has been restored, even if just a little bit. Just the fact that people can band together just to make somebody have their last moments on earth 
more enjoyable. And he saw the film, I believe, three days ago. Because the article I read it said three days after seeing the film, he passed away. Um, you know, thoughts, prayers, can, you know, and all, all of that that all we can do now or with, you know, his family. And, um, it's sad, but at least he got to have one final moment of happiness. And I think that's great. He is now one with the Force. He has become more po powerful than any of us could imagine. Rest in peace, Daniel. May the Force be with you.